Well, girl, since I'm going to talk a, uh, a little stuff today, I might as well get as many done as I possibly can. Y'all know my daughter will be getting married in a couple of days. Hey, I'm so excited. So I'll be scarce around here on these YouTube streets. So while I got a quick little minute, then I can talk with y'all and put something on both my platforms. Let me do it. Also, for my Patreon love things, remember this Friday will be when we uh, convene together to love on each other and have us a good old time. So that will still be happening this Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern, and I think that's like, what, maybe 6 o'clock uh, West Coast time, not certain. But if you're on my Patreon, or if you're not on my Patreon and would like to participate in our little chit-chat session this coming Friday, for $1 a month, you can, well, right now at $1, you can join the Patreon, and you can also get over there in time enough for me to get your email and be able to send you the information that you'll need in order to participate in our Friday night chit-chat session over on the Patreon, okay? Um, since I was talking today, I said, let me go ahead on and talk about a little bit of everything. Now, I told y'all I was not going to be following this, this, this R. Kelly situation a whole lot, but some stuff happened today and his name came up along with it. So I said, let me come on through and give y'all a little bit of my opinions on that. Now I was over on the, you know, uh, New York post, right? And they have an article over there that I will link down below. But let's just talk a little bit about the article. The article uh, title is Avenatti Name Drop Trump and R. Kelly During Nike Extortion Scheme. The article goes on to read, Lawyer Michael Avenatti was caught on camera name dropping two most uh, famous adversaries, President Trump and singer R. Kelly, while trying to squeeze more than $20 million from Nike in an extortion scheme, according to court papers filed Monday. Two Nike attorneys who were secretly recording with the feds used hidden video gear to record Avenatti during a Thursday meeting at which he allegedly demanded a $12 million retainer fee to stay silent about claims the sneaker giant made uh, illegal payments to high school athlete court papers says. Avenatti also allegedly said that he and alleged co-conspirator identified by the Wall Street Journal as celebrity lawyer Mark Garagos, that's the dude that's representing Justice Smollett, by the way, um, would need as much as $25 million in billings to conduct a purported internal investigation for Nike. Avenatti allegedly told the Nike lawyers that he would not he would hold a news conference if his demands weren't met, adding that as soon as the public becomes aware, I'm going to receive calls from all over the country from parents and coaches and friends and all kinds of people. Avenatti allegedly said that ninety percent of that is going to be bull. But because it's always bull, 90% of the time, always, whether it's R. Kelly or Trump, the list goes on and on. But 10% of it is usually going to be true. And when the, and then what's going to happen is this is going to be the snowball. Avenatti also predicted that the avalanche of information would lead to a negative media coverage for Nike. The company will die, not die. But they're going to incur cut after cut after cut. That's what's going to happen as soon as this thing becomes public. Avenatti turned himself into a household name throughout his representation of porn star Stormy Daniels over her claims of an affair with Trump. And last year used his celebrity to flirt with the possibility of running for president as Democrat. Oh, child. Hmm. More recently, he's represented several clients tied to the sex abuse allegation case against R. Kelly. Last month, he gave prosecutors in Chicago a newly uncovered videotape that he show that shows the R&B singer having sex with an underage girl. Kelly was later arrested on indictment charges with 10 counts of aggravated criminal assault, abuse involving four alleged victims, three of whom were underage at the time. 
Child, now come on now, Michael. I even though I got I sat out this here uh R. Kelly situation and, and I'm woman enough to say that I am side eyeing this case because it's a lot of stuff starting to come out. But I see I had warned y'all about that. Now I'm still not saying the man is gonna walk and I'm not saying the man ain't guilty or something. But the way they went about trying to come for him is starting to turn. And child, one thing you're gonna have to do is have somewhat of clean hands when you you're going to be trying to come for him on these type of charges. Now, I had been told by a link someone sent to me over on Instagram that Michael Avenatti was also facing some sexual abuse allegations of his own or sexual assault, something or other like that. I'll have to go look that up, and that may be a separate video. But what I want to say is, see, all these lawyers be liars. Y'all know that. But, girl, if you are going to be this cocky, if, if he has been on... Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with him because I always thought he was a cha he champion for women's rights and causes, right? Which is why when he got on this R. Kelly case, I was a little concerned. I was like, ooh, they probably got you this time, R. But do they got you this time, R? I mean, with him making statements like that, do he got you, R? And you see what they just did, this this Mueller situation for Trump. You know what I'm saying? I'm y'all. Honestly, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, if you're gonna come for this man and Trump and everybody else the way that you have been and you have garnered the support of myself and many other women, you need to make sure that your house is in order because you had to have known that eventually they were going to find something. And apparently it was enough probable cause for these people to arrest you. All you did was make people now start to weigh this out again in the court. Ah, this is the biggest problem we're having with this whole situation anyway. Everybody is trying these people in the court of public opinion, not the court of law. But when you got the lawyers and, and people that could be key players in this situation, especially in this R. Kelly situation, I would think that everybody want to have their eyes dotted and their T's crossed. Now, I don't know if this man has done all that he's alleged to, but apparently they got something because they arrested him. And I'm sorry if I'm going to stand, if you want me to stand on the front line to throw R. Kelly and Michael Jackson and all these other black entertainers under the bus, then I'm going to stand in front line to throw this Anglo up under the bus, too. He needs to get it together. I don't know what his story is. I hope that he's able to get out of this situation. And prove Nike to be wrong. But honey. You cannot be the forerunner. In a case as big as. Uh, what you've been trying to deal with. With Stormy. And as big as this situation is brewing to be. With R. Kelly. And you got issues like this going on. Behind the scenes. I just don't. I don't understand it. Now I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I'm just saying. Because I actually like Michael Avenatti. Even though. That I told y'all. That's part of the reason why I thought that. Oh they. Kels, they might got you this time girl. But it looked like they might not. Reckless stuff like this right here, reckless statements like what he said about 90% of the stuff is bullshit, but it's that 10% that he can use to make a, uh, to create a snowball effect. See, that, 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 I, when these stars, R. Kelly included, be pussy popping out the damn courtroom again, it's, this don't need to happen. It's too much going on. What happened to the prosecutors getting together, getting their information? I know there's two different situations, but see, he brought R. Kelly into the thing, so we're going to group them all together. I just don't understand. If this was going on, didn't he know somebody was going to spill tea? Girl, I don't know. I just feel like if you going to, you know, <laughs> if you're going to be a major factor in a case as big as what this is brewing up to be then you need to make sure that they don't have anything that they can come back and throw in your face that we don't know about this was not a good look i ain't finna hold y'all long because i done said what i had to say 
Uh, again, remember these are just my thoughts and opinions. They are not written in stone. Feel free to disagree with me down in the panic section. Just do it respectfully. But child, we they need to get this together because this is a hot damn mess. I'll remember to link the article below so you guys can watch it. Uh, I mean, can go and read it for yourselves and, and y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. I just personally think that if you're going to be a part of a case as big as what y'all trying to brew up against this dude, then y'all need to make sure that the key players in this situation had their stuff together because this was a bad look. And the fact that they got him on video saying, I mean, on recording saying stuff, you know what I'm saying? Get, get this together. And and do y'all think that he really did do this? Did you think that he really tried? Tried to extort money from Nike. Child, you got big balls to come up against Nike. Okay. Well, anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all. Y'all let me know down below what you think. And uh, we'll keep the conversations going down there. I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I have not even seen The Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's a possibility you might not even get it this week because, again, my daughter getting married in a couple of days. So I'm trying to do my due diligence down here. But you know what my my mind it really is. It's on this egg wedding, baby. It's on this egg wedding. Anyway, let me know what you think below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.